This video is a response to criticism of the Three Body Problem TV show. While I agree major ideas were not communicated well in the show, with proper context, they are actually brilliant. So let's begin. There is one scene in episode 5 where a bunch of people are on a ship being cut apart by razor sharp super strong wires in a very violent fashion. So instead of sending in the SAS quietly at night to infiltrate this boat full of untrained civilians to acquire it, which might I add is what they are specialised in doing. No, instead he thinks a better option is to slice the boat into a thousand pieces and hopes that this hard drive will somehow not be destroyed by all this damage. Attempting to infiltrate the ship with special forces was deemed infeasible, as the ETO would likely erase the drive's contents long before the control room could be located. The nanofiber weapon was considered the ideal solution because by the time the ETO became aware of the intrusion, it would be too late as everyone on board would have already perished. Moreover, the Nanofibers were strategically positioned 50 centimetres apart, reducing the likelihood of damaging the drive to approximately 4%, a risk that the PIA found acceptable. Who gives a fuck that Scientist A likes Scientist B and is just waiting for an opportunity to tell us such? The love between the two scientists is actually essential. It's the reason PIA sends his brain to intercept the Trisolaran fleet, the same reason why Trisolarans capture and rebuild him, hoping they could use his affection for Jin to undermine humanity. Otherwise, they'd just let him float in space. The PIA search for someone who's loyal to one person, not to humanity, because someone who's loyal to humanity would never be considered by Trisolarans. This trip is going to take 400 years before they arrive, as they can only go 1% the speed of light, which doesn't really make much sense, since they clearly have bullshit technology that can do anything, except for this, apparently. They can't travel faster than 1% of the speed of light because of the mass of the fleet. It would require almost infinite amount of energy. The fact that they can move large fleet at 1% of the speed of light means that their Type 2 civilization on the Kardashev scale, which is what the show portrays them as, not a Type 3 civilization. As one moment, this all-powerful threat that can do almost anything at once and seems to be unstoppable will somehow fail to kill a single scientist and ends up running over his girlfriend instead. This threat is so powerful it can drive people insane and can hack all electronic devices in the world simultaneously whenever it wants, meaning it could crash planes already in the sky or take over the world's nuclear arsenal if they wished, and yet somehow it is unable to kill this clueless scientist. Sophons, due to their subatomic nature, can only interfere with objects and phenomena that occur on a subatomic level, such as particle accelerators, digital screens, and the human retina. However, their influence does not extend to larger objects like airplanes, as these do not function on a subatomic level. Furthermore, as Sophons travel at the speed of light, they are unable to occupy multiple locations simultaneously. Recognising this limitation, the PIA initiated the construction of a particle accelerator on the moon, thereby making it impossible for Sophons to interfere with all particle accelerators concurrently. They then plan on having a human brain being frozen and placed inside a satellite, which is propelled to 1% the speed of light using a thousand nuclear bombs to do so. They are doing all of this so that it can reach the alien fleet before they arrive on Earth. Now, it is their hope that the aliens will take it on board with them to study, as they believe that somehow this human brain will be able to help stop the aliens. The PIA's plan to send the brain was their only hope of undermining the Trisolaran fleet because it introduced uncertainty, which was the one weapon the Trisolarans couldn't counter. Since the brain's allegiance was unknown, the Trisolarans would be forced to try and use it against humanity instead of destroying the probe. When all actions and conversations can be spied on and countered, uncertainty becomes the only way to fight back. Introducing as many variables as possible into the battlefield increases the chances that chaos will tip the scales in favour of humanity. Three people have been chosen out of everyone to construct a plan to defeat the aliens, and get this, they must build this entire war plan entirely inside their head without telling anyone about it, nor can they write it down. The rationale behind the creation of wall faces was due to the United Nations recognition of the necessity for an unpredictable command structure. 
Sophons possess the capability to potentially observe and listen to all activities, thereby necessitating that any significant defensive operation be enigmatic and unforeseeable to everyone except the individual in command. As a result, only one person could be granted command of any major defence initiative, while everyone else would be required to carry out the operation without knowledge of the underlying purpose. <laughs>